Good afternoon. It is Jane with Scraptastic Yarns. And my knit crate, the Malabrigo, came in yesterday. So I'm going to show you that. And I have some bags that I am going to be putting up in the shop tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I gotta still got to get the pictures and get the listings put up. But I'll do that this evening and they'll be ready to go first thing in the morning. All right. Nick Great, the Malabrigo came in a box. I'm a little surprised by that. Now, Nick Crate came two skeins. And it was a pretty penny. A total of, I think, 50 something dollars. This one is called Petal A112. It is in the washed worsted weight, which is 100 grams, 210 yards, and this is 100% superwash merino wool. It says it is a worsted weight, but eh, I would call that more of a light worsted weight, and it appears to be a roving almost. I wasn't expecting that. Um, this one is called Petal B and it is 210 yards, 100 grams, 100% superwash merino. And there is that with all its loveliness. And That too looks like it only has a very minimal twist, more like a roving than anything. And of course it came with a booklet for the Malabrigo Partner Swap for Inspirations. And the pattern, those are the two patterns. One is the knit and it is brioche knit and then the other is the crochet pattern but I don't plan on using this for that um, I think I'm going to do the Asgard shawl in these two so it's gonna go in the box you know in my tote now this was the extra it appears to be some kind of magnet where you can take the words apart and put them I don't know where on um, maybe your magnet sheet that holds your pattern but I don't usually use that anymore so I got nothing Still don't know when the other Nick Crate's going to come. Still no word about the Aprils. I'm pretty sure I'm never going to see that. So. Which is highly disappointing. And the one thing my husband and I were talking about when we were talking about the Nick Crate. He said apparently Loot Crate is doing the same thing. They're having trouble getting things out on time, trouble getting in their boxes, and then they're not, they're either actively ignoring their customers, or maybe they're behind. I don't know. I don't know how you get behind if you didn't have stuff coming in. I mean, honestly, if you you didn't have the yarn coming in to ship out. Why are you behind on your emails? So, anyway, here's hoping they'll catch up. So anyway, apparently Loot Crate is going through the same thing for some of the gamers, and they're not too happy about that either. I do have a bit of news I was going to share with you. It has to do with Joanne's. You know, we all laugh about when we get the 
um, when we have Joanne shipped, because the way it's shipped, uh, sometimes they throw trash in there, sometimes it's way too big a box, you know, that kind of thing. Guess who's going international soon? Joanne's. You think that kind of shipment's going to fly overseas? Yeah, that ought to be interesting. All right. Here is the first bag, and there are three of these. These do not have pouches that go with them. Um, all of these are approximately 12 and a half by 16 inches. They are drawstring, and these do not have boxed bottoms. I guess I was just in a mood to do something different. Like I said, there are three of those total. Then we have the little red truck in the garden. This one is smaller than the rest of them. It measures 11 by 13. 11 by 13. It does have a pouch. However, the pouch is in a different orientation. It is longer instead of being wider and shorter. So this, you know, the pouch is a little different on this one. And then the regular 11 by, what I say, 12 and a half by 16. This one is a regular one. Pouch again is in the long version instead of the other. And of course both of them have the green flower on the inside. And of course, they're all cinch bags. Now, I have one pig bag that is put back for someone that I need to contact because they contacted me just so I can see if they still want it. If they do not want it, then it will be added in tomorrow's um, listing. But I have an oopsie. I'm going to call it a dented bag. And it doesn't have a pouch. It's the little pig with the pink polka dots on the inside. But this is the oopsie. Do you see that? Somehow I missed on my measurements when I was sewing. So it has that little bloop. It'll be listed as a dented cheaper than the rest of them. So, uh, if you don't mind a little poop, you're more than welcome to the bag. If not, eventually I'll take it down and it'll be gifted to someone else who might appreciate it. Then we have another one that has the zip bag. Same thing, 12 and a half, although it doesn't have the little bloop. 12 and a half by 16. This last one is this lovely, uh, I believe these are lilacs. No. I'm having a moment. I thought they were lilacs. They may not be. Maybe something else. It's been a long time since I've played in flowers. Because I'm not a gardener. Trust me. Everything dies under my thumb. But anyway, it's this lovely purple flower. And of course it has the um, pouch to go with it. It has a plain pink interior. And that will be listed. Now, I have bags cut. I have not gotten to them. I am adding the cat bags to be cut this afternoon as well as the paisley this afternoon once I find a fabric somewhere that goes with both of those or one of those you know that kind of thing so it'll go um, and then I will be making those as well as the Eeyores and then I also had the other uh, truck out in the garden 
that uh, has the chickens in it that's cut I just haven't got them sewn yet my plans were to sew it this weekend um, which I will still do I will sew as many of them as I can get sewn this weekend but those bags should be up by next Wednesday maybe Thursday but I'm shooting for Wednesday to get those done it's just been rural, a whirlwind um, with prayer shawl I have prayer shawl takes a lot of time away from me and energy sometimes so um, and we have spent close to 40 hours just this week working on prayer shawl for our prayer shawl meeting that was yesterday and then we spent another two hours today because we had donations that were brought in and we have to go through the donations determine what we can and can't use you know that kind of thing um, and those were donations that came in yesterday from just people that knew about the prayer shawl ministry um, one of the professors who was a dean at our, one of our colleges is moving and had a knitting group at the university knitting crochet group and that group is kind of disbanding because everybody has retired and no one else wants to come into this and with the dean leaving they've broken apart so the dean because that Dean is moving had donated a huge box of yarn yesterday afternoon and then we had a, uh, another lady that stopped by and brought in bags full of yarn because one of her friends had a friend who had the yarn and needed a place for it to go so of course they brought it to Pershaw which is great because we can use it trust me we really can use it <laughs> So, you know, sometimes that takes precedence over everything else and I don't get a chance to do as much sewing as I used to. Unless I get up at 4 a.m. in the morning, 5 a.m. in the morning because I can't sleep. That seems to be a normal thing these days. <sighs> the joys, right? Not sleeping at night. Now, as you know, we have a sister who is in need of financial aid and that is April Lee of um, Be Wild Crochet if you can I'm going to link the video down below where she has asked for donations for assistance for help monetarily wise I don't know if she has ever really explained what her job entails she works from home online along with using her phone and her voice. She guides students who are pursuing online education and their parents when they are having issues and problems. She is a problem solver. She helps them get into the classes they need to meet the requirements for the state for homeschooling and online schooling. So she needs her voice and of course she has had this Bell's palsy and to be honest uh, I can imagine over the phone with the Bell's palsy seeing as much trouble as she had speaking to the camera itself that on the phone it's even more difficult for her and the main thing with Bell palsy um, a lot of doctors do want you to just totally rest your voice, your mouth, those muscles, and just concentrate on the rehabilitation, the physical therapy for that to um, basically get it back into where it's functioning and stronger for you. Here's hoping that Bell's palsy goes away totally. Um, you know some people it doesn't go away you know Nancy Zeman that was one of the issues that she had had along with a slight stroke and hers never went away so um, April 
Our prayers are with you. Trust me. And uh, so if you can help her out, please help her out. Anything. Uh, she does have several different venues that you can help her out monetarily. $5, $10, whatever. The only thing is if you do choose to use pay PayPal to send that money, make sure you send it as gift to friends and family so that PayPal does not take out any money from that. Um, in the past, when I had the fundraisers and I was selling the bags for Sandy's sister, most everyone did it under friends and family, but there were a lot that didn't. And it took away close to $2 on a $25, $27 bag um, you know fees which was money I couldn't send to Sandy so please use the friends and family as a gift if you are doing that and I'm gonna put the link down below for you and uh, these bags will be up tomorrow definitely by tomorrow morning if not late this evening um, I may go ahead and make them live this evening just depends on how tired I am all right, guys, that's it. I will see you again soon. And everybody, remember to be kind. Let's love one another. See you again soon. Bye.